Max, while you were answering that question, we showed a map of Iraq that had three separate colors showing where the three um, groups of people, there it is, who, who make up Iraq. And it made me think of Vice President Biden wondering whether he was right, whether the United States should have pushed for partitioning Iraq years ago. Partitioning Iraq is not an answer for anything because in the first place it raises questions about who's going to control cities like Baghdad, which have substantial Sunni and Shiite populations. And under the current circumstances, if we're partitioning Iraq, what you're effectively doing is you're ceding the Sunni portions of the country, all of western and northern Iraq, to ISIS control and you're ceding the Shiite portions in southern Iraq to Iranian control. That's not a good outcome. That's the last thing we want. I'm actually agnostic about how many states there ought to be in the territory of Iraq. The Kurdish regime, for example, is a really stable, moderate, prosperous government, which I would be fine having that as a separate government. But however many regimes there are in the territory of Iraq, we need to make sure that none of them is a sponsor of terrorism. None of them is a regime that commits genocide in the way that ISIS has been committing against mm -hmm. the Yazidis and the Christians. Mm -hmm. That's the real issue. It's not how many governments that there are, but the nature of those regimes. And right now, the nature of the ISIS regime is, should be utterly unacceptable to the civilized world. Max Boot, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us. Up next, the